All right, hey, Scorpio. Scorpio. You guys, this is a singles read. All right, I'm just trying to keep it around 10 minutes. We'll see how it goes. I get long-winded sometimes. All right, so I'm going to pull a soul message card. Let's see what your spirit team wants you to know about your singleness. All right, here it is. Love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. You embody that love. Put everything back into yourself. And then boom. Cupid's arrow strikes, right? Okay, so what I've done with the Angel Tarot deck, um, I've only pulled Major Arcana and the upper court cards. So we're going to see who is coming towards you. Who is coming towards Scorpio? And if you've just recently met somebody and this is aligning, take it as a message from your team. Ooh, look at you guys are coming out with justice, angel of integrity. All right, so this um, person, okay, this could be um, good karma coming back to you guys who have really put that work into yourself. All right, so, um, you know, big rewards pay off for when we are um, true to ourselves and we're just in alignment. All right, so the person coming towards you is going to be very, very balanced. Okay, this person is going to be love. They're going to embody love. Um, where you guys have had some iffy situations in the past, all right, where people have made you not feel good, where you've given, 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 give, but it's never fair, right? It's never the same amount back. It's never the same in return. Look at justice is coming out for you. So Scorpio, you sit there and you pour your heart out to somebody and you're like, how come it's not fair? This is not fair, right? Your team is sending you somebody who is it's this is it's like you've put enough good karma out there they're gonna send you somebody that is just on point like this is i just love it because it's just fair if you guys are like me and i'm a scorpio um it's like all we do is give and give and give and give and it's like when is it going to be my turn well look at justice is coming out because this person right here is here to be your equal partner your equal match is the attraction going to be instant? Ooh, wow. Whoa, oh my God. Scorpio, look at bottom of the deck is the lover's card. Is this instant attraction? I shit you not, guys. Look at the star card comes out and you got the king and queen of cups that drops. Boom. Like this is when we're all dating and stuff and then this is a marriage. Like, no. Look at this, you guys. Who gets that? Nobody gets that. This is wish fulfillment. This is your ultimate happiness. Look at justice is coming out because your team is like, Scorpio, you deserve it. I'm so happy for you guys, man. I'm so happy if you guys can't tell. Yes. Huge confirmation. This is going to be um, equal attraction. All right. What else about this person? What's this person like? Also, too, with the Justice card for who's coming towards you, that could be um, Libra energy. So this person. All right. So when you guys get together, this is somebody who's had a lot of wounds. Okay. This person, um, the Knight of Pentacles is, yes, the slowest moving knight in the deck. All right, you guys. But this is somebody who's been through a lot of battles. All right. So if, if it's a male, he, he's been wounded. All right. He's been wounded more than once. He's has, um, he, he's got emotional traumas that he is healing or has healed from. So he moves really slow when it comes to relationships. Okay. What is this person like? There is some blockages that this person could have. All right. This person could not recognize the connection, um, right when they see it, even though it's like the attractions there, they might, they may or may not recognize how deep the connection is. Or it could be that they're not sure about letting you in. But what is this person like? Boom. 
Four of Wands, you guys all know what that card is, right? So we have the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Star card. We have Justice. Now we have the Four of Wands. So those of you who are interested in that deep past life romantic soul connection, guess what? It's here. It's here. Um, hang on, guys. Turn that. Turn it down. It shouldn't be past 10. I already told you that. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, look at that. Four of Wands. Okay, so we're going to see what some challenges could be. Challenges. Commitment. I'm, I'm putting that one back because it's the Justice card, but it's... I'm only pulling three. Okay, so challenges. All right. So I'm just going to tell you guys this. Commitment could be a challenge um, or it could feel like a challenge. All right. And then we have the Eight of Wands possibly moving too quickly. And then we have judgment. Um, so for some of you, um, it could be somebody from the past. All right, and you might think, oh, I don't want this person, um, but think about past life um, soul connections, all right, and then recognizing that, because if you guys are a past life, which I feel like you are, um, there might be that runner chaser type of aspect or dynamic. So how do we get over the challenges? How do we get over the challenges? All right, so clarifying the Hierophant card to get over the challenges. It's just being true to yourself, not letting anybody push over on you. Don't let this person push you over. Um, don't let them breadcrumb you. Make them be in that emperor energy. All right. Judgment card, six of cups. I feel like we're, that's a confirmation. So this connection is going to be really deep. It might move fast and then it like comes to a halt because the, the Hierophant's here too. Like, do I want to commit myself to this person? Do I not? You know? Um, eight of wands yeah pulling back look at mirroring each other all right um i feel like that's what your team is saying you might kind of want to mirror this person um if they pull back or, or go slow it's like kind of mirror them because i feel like that's going to be important not to the point of games though favorable aspects favorable aspects okay so we have the seven of pentacles so um being able to see a life with this person and watching it grow look at page of pentacles this is going to be a solid you guys where you are able to like build a house from the blueprint and just see the blueprint and then watch it kind of manifest this is what you're going to be seeing with this person this is going to be very healing for both of you all right. And then the favorable aspects. Look at, we do have the commitment coming back here, guys. This is commitment. This is teamwork. And I think triangle, triangle is strong, right? The strongest shape. So um, let's see what the near future is looking like. The near future for Scorpio. We have the Knight of Swords. So this could all happen very suddenly for you guys. The Ten of Wands. So the near future. So basically what I feel is your singleness, <laughs> your singleness is about to end is what I feel. You guys could be seeing an angel numbers 999-000. All right. Those are um, in reference to endings happening. Okay. Um, we have the knight of swords and the king of swords. This person could be younger. You could be older. You could be younger. All right. So pay attention to those because we have the knight and the king coming out on the same, um, this, the, the last near future so i do feel like it's gonna happen um quickly um and we're gonna pull and see so i'm gonna pull initials and i apologize these are quite small because my three-year-old thought it would be cool to um steal my other ones all right so initials coming out we have L. I don't know if you guys can see that. L. We have C. We have M. Remember, this is yours or their first, middle, or last. 
We have P. We have S. And Z. So Z, S, L, P, C, and M. First, middle, or last. All right, so let's roll the dice. The intention I set when I meditated was weeks. All right, we have five weeks. And we have six weeks. Is that six? No, that's nine. We have five, nine. And in two weeks, we're going to see some uh, romance blossoming. You guys could have already met somebody, so disregard the... Um, that role it could just be when the connection deepens for you or starts to get deep for you so signs you're dealing with all right we got pisces you could be dealing with the pisces we have aries pisces aries taurus so Pisces, Aries, and Taurus, guys. Right. Okay, Scorpio, I think I'm going to leave it there for you guys. Please let me know. Um, if you guys haven't met this person yet, please come back and let me know, okay? Uh, I pull on energies for those of you that are ready. So um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.